G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and I'm in the front yard and I wanted to show you an idea that I had to stop my dog from chasing the post lady. You can see up the front here, we've got closed gates. Now, our dog's pretty smart, we can leave the gates open and he won't go out of the gates or out of the boundaries of our property because we've trained him not to do that. But one thing I can't train him not to do is chase the post lady and run up and down and go nuts. So what I've decided to do was plant some shrubs there, but not just any shrub. I want, because I'm into self-sufficiency and uh, I, I want to sort of swap ornamentals for food producing plants so that they can A, do a purpose, look pretty, or in this case stop a dog, and B, also produce and give us some food. Um, that's the idea behind it anyway. So, decided to plant some Kia apples at the front yard there, just near the letterbox. And hopefully, with their thorny growth nature, they'll stop the dog from running through. So that's what this video is about. Let's get into it. At the top of the gate there, I've planted some Kia apples that I grew from seed. They're a really good drought hardy shrub plant and they grow a, a nice little fruit that I've never tried but obviously I want to and since they're a drought hardy type plant and I want to populate as much of my property as possible with fruit trees I thought that it might make a good addition to the garden up there. Here's the Kia plants here and you can see that I've placed a stake with each plant the reason why I planted so many was because I want to fill up this area. But in the meantime, I thought that this would be enough if I just put these stakes in. But you can see here, if I can get this camera down low enough, he's, he's running through and he's, I'm worried that he's going to hurt these plants by continually running through when, when the postal lady comes or a delivery guy comes and running up and down like that. So what I've got to do is, is cordon this off and that's what I'm going to do now. Before I get to building that barrier, let's have a quick look at what the Kia apple is. I've gone to Wikipedia here. I haven't got any first-hand knowledge in growing it because I've only started mine from seed and I've planted out these little seedlings. It's going to take a little while for me to get it established and uh, get some fruit off them obviously but anyway it's uh, Dove Yalis Caffra is the scientific name I guess for it it's native to South Africa I'll just skip through this pretty quick it's got several other names it's um, probably got the name from the Kia River in in the south it needs a male and female plant although they say some plants um, some female plants can produce fruit without a male but what I've read pre previously is that it really does need a male and female so I've planted seven or so plants hoping that at least one of them will be a male yes although it's native to Africa it has also been introduced into the Mediterranean California Florida and those type of subtropical areas which is a climate that I live in as well and it, there here we go here uh, it's often grown as an ornamental plant being popular as an impenetrable hedge it is salt and drought tolerant, which is going to be perfect up there. That's the reason why I'm growing it. Let's have a quick look at what the fruit looks like. There's the ripe fruit there. Inside the flesh is like an orange type thing with several seeds. There's it green on the tree. And there's the thorns. So that's a little bit of a insight into the Kia apple and why I'm growing it. I'm going to look forward to getting a whole heap of fruit, hopefully, off these trees. So basically I've got some star pickets and some wire, dog wire, just a little roll of it. And uh, yeah, that should do the trick and that'll stop him from running around that area. Until those plants establish, then I'll take it away and uh, then they should be fine and he won't be running through there, it'll be too spiny and thick. Alright, well that should keep him out of the garden. and. Until those shrubs grow big enough, then I can take that fence away. 
Well, as you can see, that was a pretty easy job to do. I just secured it with zip ties to the star pickets and to the fence, and that'll do the trick. For those who are wondering, the Kia apples were really easy to germinate from seed. They're, they're such a drought tolerant type shrub that I don't think I lost one seed in the process. So, you know, 20 of them come up and I just chose the best ones and uh, planted them out after about three months of growing them in a, in a small pot. Hey, when I was putting this fence up, I just spotted some ripe guavas, the yellow ones. Mini guavas over here. We've got all these bunches of guavas coming on. And the kookaburra is starting up on cue. And here's some ripe ones. Gonna have to uh, eat them. Lots of seeds, but uh, that's not a real problem. Um, might be a slight little bit underdone, underripe. I like them when they're really juicy, um, but I mean they are ripe and they taste beautiful. I've got several of those shrubs, those mini guavas, along this front fence here. You know, they turn into a beautiful edible hedge or make jams or juices or whatever. And that's what I'm trying to do in my front yard here. Well, that's it. Hopefully that'll do the trick. It's only early days yet. And we'll see if these Kia apples can grow into a type of shrub maybe in the next few years that will stop our dog from running up and down the fence line, destroying our garden bed and harassing the post lady. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Share it around. And look, thanks a lot for you guys that have subscribed. It's been fantastic over the last few months. We've had a real surge in subscriptions and um, I just hope that's going to continue on. Bye for now. Hey, are you a clever boy? Aren't you?